and then I heard the other day there's something really liberating that you are like very real, genuine people and get off your I'm not about to hit I think authenticity is exactly not of you. It's work on but it has got better the more you start with things like putting yourself out there marketing yourself in a powerful way oh, <laughs> so whatever you have it looks like you're winning but if you don't even feel there's always something to remember thing it podcast all women and cool on by fire tell me about a time you felt really backstage like hold on hold on how do you do that again Hello my loves, welcome back to the channel and happy 2022. How has your new year been going so far? Hope your January has been well. It feels so good to be back with a brand new video from the studio which I haven't seen in such a long time and I thought I would delve in with a little life update of how things have been over the past few weeks and have a little bit of a heart to heart with you because it has been quite a while so let's catch up, have a cup of tea already and look, who recognises? This very traditional mug that you probably grew up with. Hang on a second. It also comes with a little hat. Well, lid thing to keep it warm. I remember my dad having this when I was younger. And then I spotted this from a tea shop in Covent Garden in December. And I immediately bought it because it just brought back so many nostalgic memories. But anyway, let me quickly have some tea. <sighs> Okie dokie. First of all, let me know how your January has been going so far. And any little to large life update that you would want to chat about in the comments. For me, one of my biggest things is that I started therapy in mid-December and I have weekly sessions and it's been going really well so far. And by really well, I mean it's very uncomfortable <laughs> to be confronting with some hard truths that I don't typically like to confront myself with. Mental health and mental well-being are things I'm very, very passionate about. So I thought I would open up a conversation here as well and we can have a little chat about it in the comments if you would like to. But for me, towards the end of the year, I really started noticing um, quite, quite self-destructive patterns within myself and the relationship that I have with myself that was starting to affect my day-to-day -day activities and the work I was producing and the general thoughts I was having about myself. I had this like money saved up that I thought usually would go towards camera gears and work stuff and things like that and I thought I'm going to try and reinvest that money at least for the first few months on myself and see how that goes and if I'm able to come out of here feeling like a better version of myself at least have a better understanding of myself. Some of the things we've been discussing so far involve themes such as uh, self-esteem, imposter syndrome, like confidence, core values, core beliefs and things like that and whilst highlighting certain events whether it's happening in my day-to-day -day life, um, in the present moment, in my past that I believe have you know really contributed to those thoughts I had about myself and it's been very enlightening so far in the sense that I have these random little light bulb moments where I'm like huh I'm now connecting some of the dots or started to connect some of the dots of having a better understanding of why I react to things in a certain way why I think things a certain way why I um, instinctively want to act in a certain way it's been very interesting trying to get to know myself from a different angle because some of the questions that have been presented to me I would never think to ask myself explicitly it's it's been hard and one thing I really noticed about myself which I already knew to a degree is that I'm a very impatient person and I keep saying that in every single session when I start something I really want to be able to excel at that certain thing in the shortest amount of time possible and the interesting thing is I don't hold other people to that same standard but when it comes to myself and my own expectations whatever it is I want to be able to nail it quickly and if I don't I then have this horrible narrative in my head about being not good enough at something or why didn't I get this straight away la 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 and it's not productive at the end of the day because it either stops me from doing something or I just never get around to doing it because I just have these very unrealistic expectations so long story short that's currently what we've been working on and it's been very rewarding so far and I've also started my journal again where every single day I will write um, the day the highlight of that day three things I am grateful for and a short summary of what happened that day as well so I can write the things that I want to celebrate the things that I'm currently you know mulling around in my head and the things I want to work on that's been really good so far just to kind of retrospectively think about the day's events and being able to shift my mindset about certain things as well it's all a work in progress let's see how it goes but I thought I would um, start you off with that update with how things have been going so far and I'm looking forward to 
going on this little journey with myself and to share bits of it with you as well. I've also bought a bunch of new books um, on my Kindle as well. So in terms of non-fiction, I have started the book The Mountain Is You by Brianna Wiest with The Joy of Being Selfish by Michelle Ellman. And I absolutely adore her podcast, 101 Essays That Will Change The Way You Think, again by Brianna Wiest. Oh, I'm really sorry if I pronounced the name wrong. I've been reading for the best part of like last year, just dipping in and out of it. A New Earth, which has, you know, is such a famous book as well. I'm really looking forward to reading. And then Untamed, Stop Pleasing, Start Living by Glennon Doyle, which again, I've been seeing so many rave reviews about. In terms of fiction books, I've also downloaded the song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I absolutely love Cersei, so I thought I would give this a go. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I just finished Where the Crawdad Sing which is incredible and absolutely deserves a hype. It's written so beautifully, it's so heartbreaking, and I just, I keep thinking about it. And in terms of shows on Netflix, I have just finished um, Singles Infernos, which you'll see me talk about in the vlog. Finished the whole thing, so if you want to talk about it, let's talk about it in the comments. I mean, there's, there are a lot of things I don't agree with in the show and the comments that have been made, but as a very, um, reality show watch it is so dramatic and also started my beloved summer i think it's my beloved summer or our beloved summer that's that's what's been happening in my life so far so let me know what you've been up to <laughs> that was a long ramble i need a sip of tea let's continue with the rest of the vlog now watching the show Our Beloved Summer. I'm on episode four right now. Mm -hmm. um, if you've watched It's High One Class, it's the main actress from there. And then I believe the lead actor is the guy from Parasite. So I've got a big bowl of grapes that I've just washed in my jammies. Woo! watching Singles Inferno and I want episode 7. Oh, why did you pick her again? The new girls are just like, what? But look at this journal. So I'm getting distracted. 
It's got sunflowers on the sides. And it's from a brand called Flame Tree Journals, and it's in favorite colors. So yeah, just writing it out. I really fancy ramen and fried chicken. It's about half ten. I could technically do an Uber Eats order, or I could not, or I could. Yeah.